Because it's always possible that some user's account will be subverted, an additional defense mechanism is called the principle of least privilege. Least privilege means that every user, every account, every task only has the minimum capabilities that it needs to get its job done. In embedded systems, it's common to see different categories of passwords called user or administrator or factory. And the idea is you don't give everyone complete privileges. Even better is a fine-grain per-user bitmap of function permissions. So there might be 50 capabilities on your system, and each user is only granted the exact capabilities they need for their job function. The finer grain, the better. A related concept is logging what happens so that forensically, if there's a bad event, you can find out how that event happened, which user account was compromised, and so on. Some common privilege mistakes include the following. Making a very commonly used task high privilege. If there's something that everyone who uses the system needs to do, and that something requires Windows admin password or a Unix root password, then everyone ends up being admin or root, and you have no least privilege. Everyone has complete access. That means that if their account is stolen or accessed, the attacker can subvert the system, or also that if a user just makes a simple mistake, that mistake has the capability to do immense damage. Another mistake is to give everyone the same password, because so once someone has administrator permissions, socially, it's really hard to roll them back, because they'll say, wait a minute, you don't trust me anymore? And that can be an awkward situation to correct. Another common mistake is to make risky operations too easy, no confirmation, no special login, and so on. If there's a command to erase the entire system, you really don't want that command to be available to every operator all the time if they just happen to type in the wrong word. You want to have both some confirmations and probably a separate user account that exists for those high consequence operations so that users only log into them when they know that they have to do something very dramatic to the system. In general, think through permissions. Fine grain, least privileged permissions are your best bet. Customers may push back because they just want to be able to do their job and they don't want to have to worry about permissions. But it's important to get this right because giving everyone blanket permissions is great until it's not, and then you have a big mess to clean up. So try not to get there. Use least privilege and fine-grained permissions to avoid bad outcomes.